bad things happen to happy and unhappy people. Take the case of Creon. He was happy and had everything going for him, but now he is nothing. His heart may be beating, but with no joy, he is dead. Your words sent at sorrow. Tell us your news. They are dead. Those who are still living are guilty of their death. Who is guilty? Who is dead? Tell us. Haman is dead. He killed himself. Driven mad by the murder his father has committed. Tiresias, you always know everything. I am just a messenger. Don't blame me. Has Eurydice, our queen, ever heard us? I heard something as I was unlocking the gate of the palace shrine, telling of bad news, and I fainted there at the temple with all my maidens around me. But tell me, whatever it is, I can take it. Dearest lady, I'm just telling you all that has happened. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. The best I can do is tell you the truth, so here it is. I went with Creon to where Polynesius is lying, his mangled corpse shredded by animals. We prayed that Pluto would be merciful as we bathed the corpse with holy water and brought fresh, broken branches to burn the remains. And we buried the ashes. When we were done, we went to Antigone's prison in an attempt to free her, but we were too late. The air was full of wailing. But above all, I could hear the voice of Haman crying louder than all of them. As we approached, we saw Antigone lying. She had hung herself within her own sheets. Haman lay beside her, lunged at his father, missing, and then took his own life. He now lies with his bride in Hades. She has left us without a word. What could this mean? I don't know, but she knows what is best. Her grief is likely enormous right now. No doubt she has gone to weep for her dead son. That may be true, but something just doesn't seem right about this. I'll go see what she is up to. Here is the king himself, bearing his own damnation in his arms. Nothing you can say can bother me anymore. I am the only one to blame for this. Haman, my son, so young to die. I was the fool, not you, and you died for me. That is the truth, but you learned it too late. The truth is too much to bear. Surely a god meant to do this, to trample out the thing I held most dear, the pains that men will take to come to pain. Your burden you carry in your hands is heavy, but I have more to add. What now? Queen is dead. Oh, cruel world, is there not pity for me? Can this day get any worse? Not only have I lost my son, but I have lost half of myself. How can it be true? You can see for yourself. The doors are open, and the body of Eurydice is there. Oh, pity, it's all true. I cannot bear it. Oh, my wife, my son. She stood on the altar and stabbed herself and screamed for her dead Haman, her son. And her last breath was a curse for Creon, the murder of her son. And then she fell over dead. Oh, God, I am sick with fear. Where is my knife? Can someone do me a favor and kill me? His curse is upon you for the deaths of all. It should be. I alone am guilty. Kill me. You are right for someone who has done so much wrong. A short life is best in this world of sorrow. Let death come quickly and be kind to me. I don't want to see the sun again. It will come soon enough. We have much to do. Leave the future to itself. If I only want one thing, it is death. I pray for it. Then do not pray anymore. The sky is death. Take me away. I have killed my family. My comfort lies in death. Fate has brought my pride to dust. There is no happiness where there is ignorance, no wisdom but in submission to the gods. Hubris will be punished to the strongest degree, and fat men in old age will learn to be wise. That is all for the best, because it is what you say. That is just what we need, you decided this, what you say. What did she say?